Hey everybody, welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to create an HDR image using Aurora HDR by Skylum. So to start off with, we need to open the image. We can either go right here on this splash screen or we can go up here at the top to file to open it. And when we click that, uh, we navigate to the folder where we have our images. In this case, I have three images I'm going to combine. You can combine more images if you want. This, we have the normal, th three steps uh, under and three steps over. So I'm going to uh, hold down control and select all three of these and click open. And you see it tells us that this is um, three stops below, this is three stops above, and this is normal right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to click auto align uh, and you, you definitely want that if you're not using a tripod even if you're using a tripod if there's any motion on the tripod in between uh, exposures uh, this should compensate for for um, minor errors in that so we're going to go to settings here we're also going to go ghost reduction Ghost reduction reduces any movement in the scene, like leaves moving or uh, people moving. And you want to use a reference image. I'm going to use the normal exposure as the reference image. And so it will take information out of that to uh, and then reduce the ghosting in from the other images. So now we're going to just go create HDR. It takes a couple minutes for it to uh, process it. All right, so it's produced this image right here. And uh, if we look at a JPEG of this image of the normal exposure of it, you'll see this shadow area right down here is, uh, there's a little bit of detail in it, but it's, it's, it's very dark. And uh, so we actually have more detail in there now. So we have a lot more information in this particular um, photo. What you may want to do at this point is save the photo because you can actually save it in a format where you can bring it back into Aurora and re-edit it. So if we go save, it will save it to an AUH format, which is the format that Aurora will understand so you can re-edit it in this, in this um, format. So that's one thing to remember because we can do all our editing in here and export it to whatever format we want or we can export it to a different format and uh, edit it in another editor if we like. So down here we have all of these uh, collections if we click on the center and uh, they're different um, presets basically. We're on landscapes. You can use any of these presets. They're grouped by things that were designed for landscape or architecture but any of them may work on your photo depending on what it is and what look you're going for. So we're going to go to landscapes and uh, we have a bunch of different um, things we can apply to it. Different looks. And uh, if we go up here we can do a quick check. That's what the original would have looked like without any HDR. So that's actually um, that's actually the uh, normal image and we can kind of click before and after so this is the detail we're picking up within here now the other thing that we can do is we can go here and we can go back one at a time to the to the original setting and we can also go back here to a history and change select any point in the history to move back and forth if we make a change that we want to get rid of or we want to go back a couple of changes. So over to the right we have your basic adjustments that you have in most photo editors. We can do a white balance over here. We can adjust our color temperature and tint. We can adjust our exposure, our contrast. Smart Tone is a nice one to use because it will actually uh, work on highlights and on shadows uh, and if you if you brighten it, it primarily works on the shadow detail. If you darken it, it pri primarily brings down the highlight detail. Um, but you can also just work on the highlights or on the shadows as well. 
and we've got saturation and uh, vibrant and there's actually you can actually apply any LUTs that you have to this and there are some default LUTs in here as well so you can do a lot of editing in this to adjust your photo the way you want and uh, then the last step would be to actually export it to whatever format that you want and that's this icon up over here in the right share image and if we go to export image you set the, the uh, location to the folder that you want it to go to uh, you can change the file name here and you can change the format to whatever you want we'll save it to jpeg and then it also has um, quality control i'm going to bring it to 100 percent on that you can change your color space and uh, you can actually resize it here if you want and so then we're going to just click export and that exports it to uh, a file in the folder you specified and then you can use that photo however you want you can re-edit it in another editor or share it on the internet or print it or do whatever you want with it so that's how you create an hdr image using aurora hdr by skyland this has been photo blue and i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe share and like